Well, <laughs> this was an unexpected video because my next one was uh, was going to be something else, but I could not resist. Went to Poundland, and I thought, oh God, I, I saw these, and I, and I couldn't resist. And you're thinking, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> oh, what the hell is she, are they? Well, they're going to be... Well, dwarf hamster houses, that's what they're going to be. I see, I'm, you can tell I'm speechless. I'm so impressed. So I'll show you what they are. I just couldn't resist. For a pound, you can't get any better. I mean, they are for candles and things, really, as you know, but a lot of people use them for their hamsters, you know, different styles and stuff. So anyway, I saw this bus, and it's got an entrance there, and you put some bedding in, and I'm going to give them all a wash in a minute. I've got the soapy water ready, and yeah, it's uh, that'll come off in the wash. It's uh, ceramic, and uh, that'll be just right for him to stretch his legs because it's quite long once he's inside. Oh, it's just gorgeous! I can't believe it. So I got that. I saw this first, and I just thought, what the hell? And then I looked, and there it is. How adorable is that? I am a bit worried about the bit here, you know, like uh, that bit. Is, uh, cause I, although it's, uh, oh no, it's, it can't get stuck in there. It's all right. I thought it could get stuck, but it can't. It's sort of, uh, it's, it's not got a dip, so it's fine. It's just open. It's, yeah. And um, I'm a bit worried about that bit there. So I'm hoping he doesn't get uh, his head stuck, but I don't think he will because. Uh, You'll probably know you won't be able to get it right through. But I'll, I will tr uh, use it as a play toy first for under supervision just to keep an eye on it. But apart from that, it's really gorgeous. And then I've got the good old Royal Mail with a crown pillar box. Or as uh, other words known, as the, as the uh, post box. So yeah, just in case uh, you're not in the UK and you don't know what it what it uh, what a pillar box is, basically, it's just where you put your mail in, and the postman collects it and then uh, sends it off to wherever you have uh, sent the letter to. So that's the way we work it over here. There's a little slot there, which uh, I don't know why they've got a slot there, but uh, that's usually where your letters would go. So I suppose they had to put it in to look authentic. And there's a little entrance again. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking of doing all three together, you know, like a theme, a London theme, even though I'm nowhere near London. I'm, <laughs> I'm in, in Manchester. But uh, it is based on London, really, into the London bus, the London cabs. And for someone who's uh, also, again, for me, international viewers and subscribers, to us, this is a, a taxi. But um, I know other people, like in different countries, will call it a black cab. And we do call them black cabs as well sometimes. But, um, yeah, you can either call it whatever you want, a taxi or a black cab. So that's a black cab. And the London bus. <laughs> now, can you imagine? I can see photo shoots coming. <laughs> Yeah, so this was an unexpected surprise. Aren't they just simply adorable? I'm gonna put the pillar box in the I said post box so you don't so you don't get confused. I'm gonna put the post box in one corner and then he can go and quickly catch a cab. And once he's catch a cab, he can quickly catch the bus. <laughs> it's all funny. Yeah. So um I'll be when I do um the Christmas, uh, well, when I clean the um, cage out next, I'm gonna um, put the these in on the uh, on the for, to last him over Christmas. So, yeah, it's <laughs> I've got loads of ceramic houses now, which I am intending on doing a video on soon. Me ceramic houses collection, as you well know, and uh, but which is my favourite? I don't know. I'd say this. I, I really do. I think it's just so gorgeous. But I like them all. I'd say that's my first. That's my second. That's my third. So, yeah. 
Um, I'm also, uh, I used to have a, I think if you look in my older videos, if you go to the ones, the early days in my, in my playlist, my videos 2016, I did have loads of Christmas ones that I got from, uh, well, a few Christmas ones that I got from um, Poundland. I had the Christmas tree, the Christmas pudding, and uh, the reindeer, the snowman, and the Santa. I had about five or six of them. I also had um, the pumpkin houses as well. Yeah, and the only thing, I, the only one I got left out of them is the pumpkin house, because <laughs> I got them when I had with Arby and Kizzy. I mean, obviously the pumpkin house were for um, were for Kizzy, but because she was a small Surrey and she couldn't get in the others. But um, and I've been looking around since to um, to try and re get the, especially the Christmas pudding house, and uh, they didn't have them in this year. But um, which is a bit sad. So I got these instead. But well, I, I will get them back again. And uh, yeah, I can't remember what happened to them. I think I um, I think I give them away. I think or, or, or did I uh, give them to charity when I was sorting out all my stuff last time. But either way, I've not got the Christmas pudding one now. I've not got the uh, the other two, the the other few, the the reindeer, the snow, ah, the snowman as well, and Santa and the Christmas tree. I thought the Christmas tree was a bit too small, but I was I was um, I should have kept it for when I get me robo. But you live and learn. But I'll keep looking and I will get them again whenever they get them in again. But um, but I've still got the pumpkin house, so the orange pumpkin. So, yeah, so there you go. So, a nice, sweet, unexpected video today. And, uh, <laughs> I can't stop laughing at it because they're so cute. I can just picture Casper in them now. Photoshoot time for sure. <laughs> uh, anyway, catch you later, guys.